again, thanks for watching. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. Today we're going to get you on track with backing up your Enterprise PDM Vault. As a reseller, as your support organization, we have to stress the importance of a good backup plan. Backing up the EPDM Vault is going to be crucial in the case of disaster recovery. There is not a magical button that tech support can push to get your data back. If there is a flood, if the building burns down, if the server fails, if there are no good backups, the data is lost. Um, so today we're going to step through, unveil the whole process. It's really basic. You don't have to be a DBA. You don't have to be an IT professional. Any uh, any computer savvy EPDM guy, SOLIDWORKS guy can get this done. And here's the video to help you. Uh, just a quick overview of the architecture so we know what we're backing up. Uh, there's always, with any EPDM system, two main components. And that's the database, SQL, Microsoft SQL uh, is, is uh, the architecture behind the database in EPDM. And then the archive, which is just the files. The files are living in one spot and the database is running on the server, maybe the same server. Um, doesn't really matter. We're going to back up both pieces. Now there's an optional third piece which is the archive server settings and we'll take a look at how to do that as well. Now that pretty much makes up your local area network. There may be additional server components like a web or a remote archive. We don't have to worry about backing those up. We're going to get the main archive server that has all the projects and all the files and the SQL database. That's it. So first step Let's take a look at the databases. First step of three steps. So on the archive, or sorry, the database server, we're looking for, under all programs, Microsoft SQL. It may be 05, it may be 08. You're looking for SQL Server Management Studio. Now you're gonna make sure that you have the appropriate credentials. If you're logged in as an admin on the computer or the domain, you can probably use Windows authentication and just log right in. You may need to use the SA password and use SQL authentication. Either way, you're going to make sure you've got good credentials to get in here to the databases and access those. Once inside, you'll see maybe a bunch of databases depending on how SQL is being utilized at your company. I've only got PDM running on SQL here. So we only see three databases that all relate to Enterprise PDM. I'll browse quickly to my C drive just to show you I've got two vaults, EPDM, Enterprise underscore PDM, and Dev. Now by default, as long as there's no spaces in the name, the database will be named the same as the vault name. So EPDM, Dev, and you can see I've got two vaults that correlate there, EPDM, and dev. Now you've also got a third one that's important for this backup and that's the Kinesio Master Database. Long story short, Kinesio used to be the name of EPDM um, so that, that's the index or the master database that we have to get as well. Right click on the vault that you're interested in backing up. So I'm going to just say we're backing up the development vault today. Right click and run a task. Backup is right there. Uh, making sure this is a full backup and then we're going to specify where this is going to on the disk. I'll go ahead and remove that location to show you what this is like. It's probably going to default to full unless there's other uh, databases being maintained and backed up in here. Be sure to set that to full. Go ahead and add your location. Now, this may be a network share. It may be on the same computer. I highly recommend doing off-site backups, whether you back this up to a uh, drive and then take it off-site or directly over the network right now. In my case, I've got a folder here for backups and I'm just going to call this one the dev vault dot BAK. Now, just a little nuance that you have to be aware of here. The extension is not automatically going to be added. So go ahead and type in that dot BAK. Once you say OK and you've specified the location, we say go. Executing 100%, that's a good sign. Uh, assuming that there's, uh, you have right access to that drive, we, we shouldn't have any problems here. We'll go ahead and say OK. Now we need to back, uh, back up the Kinesio master database as well. 
or right click tasks backup and run through the same process it's a full backup we'll do Kinesio back and say okay to that one backup completed successfully so we'll just browse quickly to that folder and we can see we've got the databases taken care of that quick now your vault database may take a little longer depending on how uh, how long you've been using the vault and if there are uh, maintenance plans in place how many users those kind of factors the next piece is the archives so that's step number one done step number two archives the actual files whether it be parts word documents assemblies drawings everything is somewhere on a disk the raw file data in my case it's on this D drive now, you may need to remote to the machine um, browse out to it on the network if it's a uh, some kind of uh, remote server uh, or local server so we're gonna go ahead and look for this type of file structure it'll be a hexadecimal file structure if you're not familiar with where that's at it is in the registry of the archive server once you found this archive files location with all of the related files and indexes we're going to literally make a copy of this entire folder but what I'm going to do today to just run this manually is right click copy and then browse to the place that I'm backing these up to and say paste now, there are third-party products out there that would allow this to be automated you can use robocopy uh, you can use Windows tasks a quick Google search will give you all kinds of information on running Windows tasks for backups and depending on what server you're on uh, what server uh, software 08 or 2012 etc uh, but the main point is you've got to get an actual backup of all those files it's literally just a copy the one further piece is the archive server settings on the archive server there is a program under SolidWorks Enterprise PDM called the archive server configuration now within this tool we're going to use the backup settings now as you just noticed if this has been opened before it's one of those applications that just stays open in the task tray so if you're clicking here and it's not popping up go ahead and look right over here and you'll find that it's already running so we can open it from there and say tools backup settings very straightforward dialogue here we're just going to specify where this is going we'll go C drive backups and say OK um, and choose what vaults to back up either all vaults or just selected vaults and just hit launch the backup now I haven't touched these password uh, fields here so it says hey you sure you don't want a password absolutely backup made good to go so jumping back here we can see now we have a backup dot dat and that's the three pieces pretty straightforward uh, as long as you've had some experience with it now again just for a little extra credit we can automate some of these things the, the file automation can be done with Windows tasks or there's tons of third-party applications out there but SQL actually has maintenance plans built in I'll go ahead and log in here and expand out management and look for maintenance plans right click new plan actually we'll use the wizard for simplicity here just say next there's several things you can do inside of here we're just going to give this a name like backup weekly you can go ahead and click next and choose just a full backup same thing we were doing except this is going to set it on a schedule say next next you can give it uh, select the dates or sorry the uh, the vaults that you want to back up so in our case it would be all of those and say OK give it a, a schedule and complete that wizard for uh, for a kind of a set it and forget it database backup 
Now, one thing that I will point out is that the database backups and the archive backups, they need to be somewhat synchronous. So if you're setting this to be every Wednesday night, don't set the archive to be every Saturday night. Do them both at the same time uh, to save the potential problem of some database uh, entries being slightly different than, than the uh, up-to-date archive uh, files. And that's really it. Uh, hopefully this helps out and, and, and does away with a little bit of the smoke uh, that, that clouds the backup process and makes it a little bit more simple. If you've got any comments on uh, how you're using automation for this process uh, or some, some things that you may find to be easier, uh, please let us know. Feel free to leave us a comment on the video. Also, feel free to leave us a comment if you've got a request for other videos in the future. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.